back when we first met I remember what you said You said you never leave me I let go of your hand Build my castle in the sand But now we're chained out again This time I'm not letting go Till you hold me, mold me Sometimes I feel so all alone All alone I gotta find my way back home So why don't you shake me Wash me water than the snow I gotta find my way back home da 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 The song we're gonna learn today is a song by Brian McKnight. Uh, it's called Home, and it's the acoustic version, uh, which is in the key of A, uh, E major, as opposed to the album version, which is in the key of uh, E flat major. All right. So we start off with the verse, and the first chord is uh, E add nine. All right. So take a look at the diagram. And this F sharp here is what makes it an E add 9. Okay. Thinking back. Alright, so here on the second fret, we're playing an E uh, F sharp minor 11. Okay, we don't play the fifth string. Alright. And then we we'll keep the same shape slide over to a 4th fret All right. or you can do whichever way you want to play it this is an E add 9 over G sharp All right. so E add 9 but with a bass of uh, G sharp uh, if you're here in a G, G sharp minor 7 you know, by all means, play what you're hearing. I'm hearing E add 9 over G sharp, okay? So, thinking back when we first met, okay? Next chord, I remember a C sharp 7, or if you want to play this, it's a C sharp 7 sus 4, okay? I remember what, um, so when it says what, this is a C sharp seven flat nine. Okay, so we went from on the on the fourth fret C sharp seven, and then flat nine. Okay. Uh, now, what makes it a flat nine? It's uh, it's this uh, D chord here, a D note. Sorry. All right. So the way we're playing this is, and then so four three. Back to four, okay, and then three. Take a look at the diagram, right? I, I remember what you said. F sharp minor eleven, okay. Back to the second fret, and then when he says, "You said you never leave me." Um, F sharp minor seven over a bass of B. Okay. You said you. So this, you're literally barring uh, the second fret from the fifth string on down, right? So F sharp, like this, minor seven, but over B. There we go. Never leave me. And then E add nine, all right? And then there's a chord here, uh, two chords. All right? 
here F sharp minor 7 over B we've already shown this slide over to the 4th fret same shape this is a G minor 7 with a bass of C sharp all right G minor 7 G sharp minor 7 with a bass of C sharp and then we repeat um, the first four uh, five chords I let go of your hand okay, same thing and then here build my castle C sharp 7 and C sharp 7 flat 9 and then here we have a new chord in the sand okay. on the fifth fret this is a D6 uh, 9 all right so Again, in terms of the fingering, we start on the fifth, uh, on the fifth string, um, fifth fret, right? five, and then we go to the fourth fret, and then back to the fifth, uh, fifth fret, and then fifth fret. Okay. Now, this is what makes it a nine. This is what makes it a six. All right. So D six nine. If you put that together, it sounds like this. I let go of your hand. And then really quick, build my castle in the sand. All right. But now I'm reaching out again. Now here, this is a C sharp minor seven flat five uh, on the fourth fret. This is a C sharp minor seven, and then you take the fifth, lower it a half step. So, all right. Now, if you look at the chord sheets out there, especially the piano version, the chord here would have been in the key of E. It would have been A over C sharp, which, or A flat over C, or in this case A over C sharp, which would have been. Okay. So the difference is. Here, um, on the sixth fret, uh, fifth fret, you go to the seven instead. So, okay, that's not what I'm hearing. But if that's what you're hearing, then play whatever you know what you hear. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. All right, so. So here, the same shape that we saw here, but we move it to the third fret. Okay, and this is a C six nine. Again, um, take a look at the diagram. This is what it sounds like. And I'm not letting go. F sharp minor eleven. We've already seen this. Ten. And then F sharp minor seven over B. Okay. Now, um, from there we go to the chorus, uh, almost the same chords. Me, e at nine. Hold me F sharp minor eleven, and then slide over to a fourth fret. Sometimes, all right. E at nine over G sharp, and then here we've got a new chord. Sometimes I feel this is a B over A, so this is a B major, but with a bass of an A. Okay, all right. So, so again. Sometimes I feel okay. So all along, keep the fingers here. But with a bass on the fourth fret, this is a G sharp minor seven. Okay, so your hand pretty much stays here. Sometimes I feel so alone. Okay, and then back to C sharp seven flat nine, still on the fourth fret, all alone. Okay, take a look at the diagram. All alone. Then uh, I gotta find 
F sharp minor 11. I've got to find my way back home. F sharp uh, minor 7 over B. And then you repeat all those chords again. So why don't you? F sharp minor 11, make me, wash me, and then here we've got a new chord, so here when it says uh, wider, this is a A major 11, alright, so again, so open um, fifth string to play the A uh, bass, and then on the 6th fret, okay, co uh, chord uh, 4 and 3, and then, and then chord 2 is on the 7th se uh, fret, okay, there you go, wash me wider than, uh, and then here, then, then the snow, this is a C diminished 7. Alright, so again, take a look at the fingering. Uh, we start off on the third fret, and then fourth, second, um, fourth, second. Alright, so C diminished seven. Then the snow. Uh, C sharp minor seven on the fourth fret. Once the C sharp minor seven is done, you go to um, F sharp uh, seven or dominant seven on the second fret. Okay. I gotta find F sharp minor eleven, and then here we've got a new chord. My way. It, it sounds really weird. Uh, this is a B seven sus four. Flat nine, okay. So uh, sus four flat nine. So what makes it a flat nine is this uh, this C here, all right. And then B seven, uh, we've got the A here. That's what makes it a seven. So the way I'm playing this is, and then I lift my pinky, and then I go to the first string on the second fret. If that's too hard, just play this. That also that's an F sharp minor seven with a bass of B. That also works. Okay. I gotta find my way. Okay, that works as well. Back home. E at nine. Okay. Da -da -de -da. F sharp minor eleven. Uh, C six uh, nine. We've already seen this. F sharp seven minor. Uh, sorry, F sharp minor seven with a bass of B. And that's the whole song. And you know, you go to the second verse. It's practically the same thing, and the chorus is practically the same thing. Uh, the only difference in the verse uh, is. Um, you know when he says uh, put your arms around me so it goes it goes something like this put your arms around me yeah, yeah. okay so that's the only difference before we would have done okay but the second time on in the second verse he goes okay this is a c6 uh, Nine and then F sharp minor seven over B. Okay, that's the only difference between uh, the second verse and the first verse. That's the whole song. Uh, uh, enjoy.